We had an interview with Rollins and Owens. They're facing Riddle and Orton tonight. Riddle and Orton are the number one contenders. They're getting a match against the Alpha Academy in two weeks. And if Rollins and Owens win, they will be inserted into the title match, which, spoiler everybody, they won the main event. We had Alpha Academy beating the Street Profits. They got about 10 minutes. And uh, it's a good match. Montez, yeah, he went to slam Otis. Otis fell on top. Gable held down the foot. And so Otis got the pin. They snuck out. Street Profits were upset about it. Yeah, this is a good match. Uh, totally. Daw- Dawkins looked real good. Uh, Dawkins was having fun. He did that. He had a running flip dive, and he looked so happy when he did that. I don't know what it is, um, but. Yeah, he just was so proud of himself. He did. Um, what did he, he didn't do something big off the top rope too. He did a lot. I mean, he. Um, but yeah, both those guys are. You know, they're over. They're good. Um, you know, obviously, you know, Otis is. You know, they've got Otis in a certain situation. Chad Gable's great, anyway. You know, it's funny because for all those years, I just said, God, Chad Gable's got to get out of there. And finally, I mean, after that horrible year with freaking Shorty G. They're actually doing something with him, and it's working. Yeah, what do you think Good they're doing man. with him? They're letting him talk, and they're letting him wrestle. Well, he's great. He's a what great a guy. what a. Uh, but they let him. They let him talking. They let him talk to Shorty G, and that was death. Yeah, but it was all like Shorty G. In you know, come on, it was bullshit. This is like they they finally found something that he could latch onto, which is that he is a college graduate. And he got a 4.0, and it's totally just turned everything around. Now every, like any idiot can write a good promo for this guy. He's great at delivering it. He's a great wrestler to back it up. He's, he's like, he's even great. Otis, Otis, when they turned him heel, was just a generic big geek. Now it's like he's big, he's a killer, but he does some comedy stuff with Gable so that people are into it. I mean, this act is like a thousand times better than it's ever been before, and it's the best that Chad Gable's ever been. Yeah, but Chad Gable had the, Chad Gable could have done all this when he was in NXT. I mean, well, he sure, had the talking ability, they, they he certainly had the wrestling ability, and he did. I mean, when he was great in NXT, and then when he went to the main roster, you know, Vince saw his size and you know whatever didn't take him seriously. You know, I mean, it's funny because it's like the guy wrestled in the Olympics. You should probably take him seriously, but. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm 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 glad for him. I mean, I know that there was, um, I know he wasn't happy, but he was happy with the money. But um, obviously not now. But now I'm sure he's probably having the time of his life because it's what he wanted. He wanted to be a, a wrestling star, and he's finally getting an opportunity, which should have come years ago. And finally, the main event: Seth Rollins, Kevin Owens versus Randy Orton and Riddle. And uh, it's Rollins, Owens, Orton, and Riddle. So, again, it's impossible to have a bad match. And uh, they did some good stuff. Alpha Academy was not allowed to be at ringside for the match. So uh, they were backstage. And a uh, bunch of big near falls at the end. Uh, Kevin Owens stomped on Riddle's foot. Uh, Rollins took out Orton with the curb stomp outside the ring. And then uh, they gave Riddle a buckle bomb. Owens hit him with a stunner. Rollins hit him with the curb stomp. They pinned him in the middle of the ring. And so in two weeks, it is a three-way. It's Alpha Academy versus RK Bro, Rollins, and Owens. Of course, uh, Chad Gable's furious about this because, you know, he's explaining now we only have a 33.33333% chance of winning, which, of course, it's always stupid when they say that because, you know, the odds are the odds. It's not a 33.33% chance. If it's Lesnar against two geeks, he doesn't have a 33.33. He's got a 100% chance of winning. But anyway, it's three-way coming up in two weeks. So at least we got uh, two weeks' worth of, of big matches that they've announced in advance. So that's a positive. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.